All right, crew, January's in the books and it is February. Now, most of you know that I've been trying to get to 2000 active listings on my eBay store. And if you look, I'm about a hundred or so behind that number. So I didn't meet my goal. And a lot of that was health related. My doctor thought I was having some blood clotting in my leg. I went and had an ultrasound. It's not the case, um, but I've had pins and needles in my foot for like 10 straight days now. And while it's getting a little bit better, it just made it very, very hard to source as much as I wanted to source and then get listings done because I was on the heat pad a lot towards the end of the month of January. So I'm trying to make less excuses for myself in my business, but I think the health related one um, grants me a pass, so to speak. So we're gonna head into the thrift stores here. I'm a little bit early. It's gonna open in just a second, but I'm still a little bit behind. So as far as February goals go, we gotta get to 2000 and then press forward from there. I'm not exactly sure what the next goal is going to be, but we have to play a little bit of catch up. So let's get into the store and let's go to war. All right. We're gonna start it off with this bag right here that was just sitting right here on the dead shelf. Aston, made in the USA. This is a, uh, another one that I've never sold before, so I'm happy to share it with you. I went into Terapeak and the leather is, not, I wouldn't say it's beat up, like this is quality leather. Um, we got some marks, we got some scrapes on it, but I went into Terapeak and this exact model sold in February, I don't know, it's 2022, 2023. For 135, so I might price this at 150. Let me check the strap to make sure it's a little bit bent, but I don't. I think I can get away with this. We're just flattening. Look, this leather is soft enough that I can maybe mold it back down. Um, I, but none of this I think matters in the grand scheme of things. I think I have a 150 dollars leather bag here to start the show. And if you've never seen Aston, I believe this is vintage and that's just based on the Terapeak research that I did. So um, keep all of that in mind, but this looks clean on the inside too. Let me pop it open and see if I can get you a, yeah, this it's like a laptop compartment bag. This is really nice, really well made and the leather feels very like soft, but firm. I don't know if that makes sense. And I like the light, the light color. Yeah. So. I think I'm gonna list this for 150. Let's get it. Let me show you this insanity. Look at all of these carts in this store. We've gone through most of it and there's really not a ton that I'm interested in. I'll have to go through it again because sometimes this just gets overwhelming, but it is rows and rows of carts. I mean, look at this. Like it is just bananas. So much going on here. So maybe we'll dig into some individually here in a second, but uh, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. There's no way I can pass this up, right? How cool is this thing? They got $5 on it. Haunted television. Where was this sold at? Let me flip this around and turn it off. It was sold at Big Lots for $35 and then went down to $25, but I mean, I, I have to take this home. I just sourced that Martha Stewart Jack O' Lantern bucket, but I have to have this as well. I haven't even run the comps on it, so. I'll look and put them on the screen for you, but it's clearly working, battery operated, five bucks, haunted television. It's actually very light, so it'll ship like three, I'm gonna say three to four pounds in a 12 by 12 by priority box. So shipping will be pretty easy, but this is, this is awesome. I'm taking this one here, I'm gonna look at this really quick as well. A little Coca-Cola milkshake maker by Nostalgia. This I'll have to look this up. This could be something. Coca-Cola still has a huge, massive collector's following. And I don't know if this fits the bill. It's something that is in demand, but I'll look it up. Eight bucks, not bad, but this is the real winner right here. Haunted television. This was just on the regular racks. It wasn't on one of the new racks that came out. So I'm looking for a flaw because based on the solds, I think I can get $80 for this. This is a BMW branded puffer jacket. What size is it? It's a small, but like I'm looking for some type of flaw somewhere and I don't see one on the front or the back. So if you find a BMW 
like a vintage BMW jacket, some of those go for hundreds, but this style, I think this is for the M3, is gonna be about $80, all black, but it looks like it's in great condition. I don't know, you know, that's just, that just happens sometimes. That's what goes on here. Just kind of got lucky. I almost didn't look this up because I've seen some BMW items like BMW branded that are really not worth anything, but the puffer jacket here is looking pretty sweet. So I'm gonna assume that I can get $80 for that. And that's a great find. I'm gonna walk past the holiday aisle here, see if there's anything we can spot. Even though we're way out of season, we're not way out of season, but like I'll still source this stuff year round, but I'll be much more picky. But the BMW jacket, that's a winner. These are fun. We have here, Kashima, Japan. Is this also Kashima, Japan? I've never seen that before. This look unique. All right, let's grab that jacket. And I have a non-reselling related question for y'all. Has anybody that is watching this used Carvana to purchase a vehicle? I think for my next car purchase, that's the route I wanna go. So if you've had an experience with them, good, bad, ugly, please let me know because my old car is no longer with us. So just before the holiday, um, I hit a very slick patch of road and smashed the front end of my vehicle. Looks a lot worse than it was, but it was enough damage to consider it a total loss. So we've settled all of the things that needed to be settled. Geico cut me a check for the difference and I am in the market for a new vehicle. So if you have experience with Carvana, I think I wanna try it. I don't know a ton about it. I don't know how it works. If you have a car shipped to you and you end up not wanting it, if, you, if anyone's got experience with this that's watching, please let me know because I think that's the route I'm gonna go. Everything that I'm looking for here locally, um, it's just not really uh, a whole lot to pick in what I'm looking for. And with a, Carvana, with a place like Carvana buying online, looks like I have a lot more options. So if you've got, if you've got some intel for me, please share that in the comments because uh, that might be the route I end up choosing. But yeah, the old car's gone. So we're looking for a new one. Skims robe for 10 bucks, size 2X. I was looking and is there a drawstring that comes with this? I don't see that there is one. So this is like a robe or a long cardigan. I think I saw the exact same one sell. Someone had an auction style for like $62 with I think 17 or $18 shipping. So maybe I'll list this for 60 or 70, but this is a good find. I don't think I've sold skims before. I don't remember. I think this is a Kardashian thing, but all I'm gonna say about them, but uh, 10 bucks assuming that this is not supposed to have some oh no it is so is this missing the belt well if this is missing the belt we have a problem so i need to either look for that or go back into the app and see if the one that sold which i'm almost certain did now sold with the belt because i don't see it here which would be a bummer anyway assuming i can find the belt that would be 60 to 70 dollars but i don't think i'm going to be picking it up if i can't find it that's a bummer found a patagonia jacket that i think i'm going to price at at a maximum of 25 dollars. i might even just list this for 20. it's a woman's medium the reason for that is there is branding on the bottom i hate when this when they do this and this can be removed i don't have the time the patience for any of that so this is going to be probably like i said 25 dollars but in order to move it quickly, because this style, 80ZE ads, or something like that, I forget the exact style. It's not really a fast mover. Polar Tech, women's size medium. There's nothing wrong with the jacket. It just has branding on it that is really going to, in my opinion, slow the sale. So in order for me to speed that up, the only thing I know to do is raise the price on it. So yes, we pulled Patagonia, but no, it's not the most ideal piece. It's all right. Let's check some of the rest of this really quick. Make sure there isn't something hidden in here that I might have missed before. But yeah, that's a bummer. There have been times I've, I have found uh, Patagonia and they've had NetJets branding, which is a local Columbus company. And I've still sold them for a good amount, but more often than not, it's a little bit of, it's a little bit more work than I'm interested in putting in. So 25 bucks and we'll move it. 
All right, a new card came out and I have something I can use. This Maglite flashlight. This is super long. This is like two feet long plus. Anyway, it looks like these sell for $50. The package is a little bit dirty, but this is definitely brand new, still sealed. So I'll probably price it. I think a lot of them are selling for 50 plus shipping. So maybe I come in at 40 and uh, charge shipping, which is what I do with basically all of my items. I always charge shipping. It's only gonna cost $8, so it's not a bad deal. While this thing is fresh, let's take a gander and see if there's anything else. This is, it's cool. Um, I wish I knew some of this stuff better. Tarantula, look at these things. Should I put this in one of my daughter's rooms? What do you guys think? We have here. No, nope, can't use that. If you see something I miss, please let me know. The Pampered Chef, Family Heritage Collection, little pewter bunny tray for the Easter holiday that's coming up. All right, what else are we looking at? Nano. Sounds opened. Okay. At first glance, I don't think that any of this can be used, so I have to be satisfied with the mag light. This is a good pickup. The retail price on a t-shirt like this is $32, so I went to Homage's website, and there is, for this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, there's a white version and an orange version. It looks like the white version is still in stock, but the orange is almost completely sold out with the exception of the 3XL. This is a medium. It's got a little bit of pilling, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is still an extremely popular franchise. They have a collaboration going on with Fortnite right now. So, you know, you couple all of this and put it all together. I feel like I can sell this faster than not. As for the price, it's going to cost me $5. And I don't think anyone else is going to have this style and size combo. I see a two, is either 2XL or 3XL. It's already listed on eBay, but I have a medium here. So maybe I'll list this for 20 to $25. That's not that far off from the $32 price tag, but you can't get a medium on Homage's, or Homage's website. So if they want this in this size, they've got to go to eBay for it. So $25 on this, I think probably be pretty fair. Let's check the rest of this. What brand is this? 14th and Union, Red Ale, are we in? Is this all mediums? Where am I at? Medium, there's some larges here. What are the t-shirts? I'm gonna really skip through a lot of this because I don't believe there's anything else here. But having that sold out on um, Amage's website helps me, I think. And the turtles are popular. Mutant Mayhem was a, uh, a pretty big success uh, in the box office relative to the amount of money they spent producing that movie. So they have very good, that brand has very, very good holding power. I remember it when I was young. This is a nice, this is a nice Orvis shirt, size large. It's kind of on the basic side. Anyway, um, I'm gonna pick that t-shirt up and I think I'm gonna list it for 25. I just checked, I think this one is selling in the 30 to $40 range. Starbucks, you are here. Greece, there's an Athens version too. Really good seller. And I think I'm gonna list it, was it from 2019? I think I'm going to list this one for between 30 and 35. They have it marked four, which is sitting here on the rack, which is awesome because there's so many carts and I, I can't find anything on any of those carts. It's just a lot of stuff that uh, really doesn't qualify. Let me put this in my cart really quick and then we'll take a look at the rest of this stuff because maybe we will uh, have lightning strike twice here. Kate Spade, Lennox. Yeah, that, maybe that's something, maybe not. Look at the Buckeyes. What else do we have here? Let's go down and take a look at this. Stoff's Cafe. Stoff's is a local roaster coffee company here in Columbus, Ohio. I don't know, maybe this would be something to hold on to. I can't remember if Stoff's closed the location. I don't know what's going on with them, but um, they are local to Columbus, Ohio. Maybe they've branched out of the state, but I may or may not pick that up. Glade Warmer, I don't see anything up here. This is Starbucks also? Yes, but it does not have the top to it. We're gonna leave that behind. All right, I don't see anything else here. What a great find on the, on the uh, Starbucks mug that I did find. Let's look at this cart over here. 
Although I, I mean, there's a toy right there that I can't really identify. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here that's worth looking at. All right, let's keep moving. It's just in the dead racks here. Flame resistant Carhartt's green. I might pick these up. What size are they? 36, 32. These look pretty nice. Um, yeah, they're, they're looking pretty clean. Is that cat two category two is that what that means i had a comment in, on my previous video on a pair of amiri jeans that i had sold and i don't think the op was very happy with how i handled it we're going to talk about that i might actually head home now because i think we have seen everything there is to see here let's go home let's get to my computer and then let's go over that comment because i think uh, there's some data that i want to present to all of you just to show you how i arrived at what i arrived at all right, Nick writes, who takes $180 for Amiri jeans that are listed for $500 after a few hours? That's absolutely asinine. I like your videos, but I call it for what it is. Okay, Nick, so let's start with the $500 asking price number. I run a 50% off sale in my store at all times. There's no strategy behind that whatsoever. It's the way I've always done it. I'm copying a seller who I was watching on YouTube uh, as I was transitioning my Amazon eBay to uh, or my, my Amazon inventory to eBay. That's how that person did it. And that's how I do it. I'm literally copying them. There's no strategy behind it. So these jeans didn't hit my 50% off sale yet. The actual asking price that I was going to list them for was 250. And that's because that's where a majority of the ones that I saw similar at that time were currently listed. But let's take it a little bit further and we're gonna go into um, Terapeat for the last three years. The keyword that I'm using right here is Amiri Jeans Cherub Black. And I do not have them sorted by new or used. These are both new and used in these listings, but I do have them sorted um, by most recent to least recent. So here's my sale at 150. And then if we go down to this one here, here's a new with tags, similar, uh, exact same jeans, just a smaller size. Sold brand new for 155. Next one sold brand new for 150. Next one sold brand new for 325. Here's a pre-owned one, I believe, that sold for 250. Um, this one says read description. Maybe there was some damage for 150. Here's another one new with tags that sold for 250, 450 here, but they have a receipt with it so they could verify authenticity. So my $180 sale and me taking that offer was never at 500. It was supposed to be at 250, but when I had the thing listed, the offer came in so quickly, knowing that it was going to be listed at 250 and if you listen to what I was saying about how I felt my sales could have been this January because they were so poor last January, to me, accepting 180 off of 250 is completely acceptable for me in the month of January. Now, if we had gone to February, I may have held on to them a little bit longer. I do send out 15% offers off of my items pretty aggressively. And so that would have brought it down to the average of about 215, I think. If you, you know, I think that's 15% off is about 215, 220, somewhere around there. But we're really only talking about a $30 difference. So me accepting the $180 price was the correct decision at that time. But don't get hung up on those jeans were listed for 500. This was a terrible move. Um, hopefully that explains where my brain was at. Again, would I handle this different in uh, February? Maybe, but we're only talking about a $30 difference. So um, I made the correct move. All right, the hunt's over for me. It is your turn now. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know if you've used Carvana and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.